to sample it. That's a crime. I've made records with a lot of people. As a creative tool, like for someone to use a sample of an existing piece of music to, and then for their music, I think, I think it's an extraordinarily lazy artistic choice. It's much easier to take something that is already awesome and play it again uh, with your name on it. Rock and roll was the lazy. You know, three chord, you know. Everybody would look down on basic rock and roll when people like say, that's not music. Bob, Bob, my new mom. Bob, Bob, my new mom. It's sort of like like a bad dance move or something like that. You 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 think that people doing it should be embarrassed for behaving this way, you know? Or you you think that people doing it should be self-aware enough to understand that what they're doing is cheap and 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 easy, and everyone else can tell that it's cheap and easy. The argument that a sampler is no different from any other instrument is absurd. It's absurd because no other instrument allows you simply and easily to take someone else's life's work and put your name on it. A lot of records back in time has a really good sound, like James Brown. The beats are just so fast. Get, get down. I think hip hop producers, you know, have to be a lot more cautious than they were 25 years ago. I think they understand fully that ultimately they're going to pay the bill, right? At the end of the day, the sample clearance is going to come out of their pocket, you know? So I think that that's changed the way that producers think about how they put music together. The producer or the publisher of that particular track is getting compensated for the use of that sample. But the artist that originally played that drum break that got sampled is not necessarily getting any compensation for it. It is cheaper, easier, and more predictable if you want to cover somebody's song entirely than if you want to take three seconds of somebody's song. That doesn't make any sense. That's, that's, that's. Why should an entire song be easier or cheaper to do than three seconds of somebody's song? Three seconds of somebody's song. Three seconds of somebody's song. of lawsuits that made it very clear that the lawyers and the entertainment world were going to rein in this practice of unauthorized digital sampling. The sum that's art. Graffiti. 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 The sum that's art. To most people, however, it is a plague that never ends. A symbol that we've lost Graffiti, as the name itself, is not an art. Graffiti is the application of a medium to a surface. I will show you graffiti, such as the letters on the end of that car directly in back of me. Is that an art form? I don't know. I'm not an art per critic. But I can sure as hell tell you that that's a crime. Crime, 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 crime. With all respect, I think you are close to boiling into the sort of trap of the 1960s culture. Culture, 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 Kids uh, with not enough to do. If the kids have energy and want to do something, we'll get we'll get more brooms, we'll get more sponges, and they can do something that is publicly productive, useful, and that would earn for them the respect and approbation from their fellow citizens. It isn't the energy that is misplaced, it's the value system that is misplaced. One, two, three, five. That's a crime. Uh, 
Sisters in Art. How about the mothers and fathers uh, of this uh, city saying to the kids, that's the wrong thing to do? You listen to them talk, they sound absolutely ridiculous. Each of these cost us a million dollars, in a sense, because uh, others went out and uh, tried to copy, 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 <laughs> copy, copy. That's a crime, crime, crime. defacing our uh, public and private walls. Uh, they're all in the same uh, area of uh, destroying our uh, lifestyle and making it uh, difficult to enjoy uh, life, and I think uh, has to be responded to. And so I told you uh, that the response that I think a repeater, three-time repeater should get would be five days in jail. Yeah.